The math of creation is actually very simple. Now we know that everything in the universe is energy. The galaxies, the stars, the planets, you and me, we're all energy. So from this we can start to write an equation for the creation of the universe. Let's start with E is the energy of the universe. And the most simple equation that I can think of is that E is equal to E. That something is equal to itself. For example, the E could be a pound of iron is equal to a pound of iron. And if we were to have a teeter-totter with a fulcrum, we put a weight here and an equal weight here. We would have, if these weights were precisely equal, the teeter-totter would be in balance. So I, I call this law the law of balance. And I contend that this principle allows the creation of the universe from nothing. Let's see how this happens. Now I can start with a simple equation, and I do a little bit of algebra. I can say E minus E equals E minus E. So I've just subtracted E from both sides, which is allowed. And I can replace this with the equivalent of zero. Now I have a simple equation, just rearranged a little bit, that says we have nothing here, we have something here. We have two somethings. We have a positive something and a negative something. And th this perhaps is a way of telling us how we get our universe from nothing. For example, this could be the positive energy in the universe. And this could be the negative energy. I'll call it E sub G. And when physicists calculate the energy content of the universe, they find that there's a large positive energy. That's basically mass, heat, light, motion. But there's also a negative counterpart. That's gravitational energy. And when the calculation is done, they find that this balances this, and the total energy of the universe adds up to zero. So this equation, this very simple equation, gives us a path for existence from nothing. So we could say back 14 billion years or so ago that we had a universe of nothing. We had zero gravity. We had zero positive energy of mass equals zero. And we can say that at some point in time, a small fluctuation occurred that allowed a little bit of positive energy balanced by a little bit of negative gravitational energy equals zero. And quantum physics allows this to happen. In fact, they see in a laboratory that something's created from nothing all the time at a very tiny level. And a time later, we can say that the positive energy of the universe has increased balanced by a negative gravitational energy equals zero. So we can see how this equation allows the universe to come into existence from nothing without violating any of the conservation laws of energy. Let's do a second mathematical experiment that shows that the state of nothing is mathematically unstable. And because of this, this gives nature an enormous creative power to create things out of nothing. Let's see how this happens. Let's start with the law of balance, that energy is equal to energy, something is equal to itself. And let's add another term here. Let's add an x term. And let's ask ourselves. What is the value of x? Well, I, I would say most of the time x would be equal to 1. For example, let's say e is equal to 7. 7 equals 7x. Seven Solving for x, we get 1. 
let's say that e is equal to minus 2. Minus 2 equals minus 2x. Solving for x, we get 1. But what happens if, if e is equal to 0? 0 equals 0 times x. Now, can x be 1? Sure. Let's say 1 times 0 equals 0. So 1 works. Could x be minus 2? Minus 2 times 0 equals 0. Minus 2 works. Could x be 10 times 0 equals 0? x equals 10 works. So the solution to x can be anything. x can be absolutely anything. And it, this equation holds true. Let's transpose this equation a little bit. Let's say 0 divided by 0 equals x. And we know x can t take on any value. It can be minus 1. It can be a million. It could be infinity. It could be 0. It could be... It can be anything. So let's consider the creative powers that nature has. If it can find a way to do a 0 divided by 0. For example, we know that Newton's gravitational law is force is equal to a gravitational constant times a mass of an object times a mass of a second object divided by a, a distance squared. And this force law, the, the gravitational force law, Newton's law, can be converted to an energy law rather easily. Now we know that energy is force times distance. So if we multiply by a distance and we do the math, this becomes to the first power this becomes energy and this actually becomes negative because gravitational energy is negative. Now what if we have a universe of absolutely nothing? No time, no space, no energy, nothing. If we plug nothing into this equation, well, in, in this universe of nothing, mass would not exist, so it would be zero. So we could say, energy equals minus g times mass, which would be 0, times any other mass, 0. And the distance, since distance doesn't exist in the universe of nothing, the distance would be 0. So we, now 0 times anything up here is equal to 0. And 0 in the denominator is 0. And this is equal to, this can be anything. So if we have a universe of absolutely nothing, and if nature can find a way to divide zero by zero, it could be very creative. In fact, if, if nature starts with nothing and goes in this direction, it could possibly create this energy law from nothing. Here we have zero, zero. We could, we could come up with any energy. And if nature can find simply a way of dividing zero by zero, it has a lot of creative power. It can create anything. It can create our universe. It can create many things that are unstable. And the unstable things are lost to history. And it creates things that are stable. For example, this energy law is something stable that it could create from doing a zero divide by zero. And Coulomb's energy law is virtually the same format. It, it follows the same zero divided by zero, creating the other energy laws. And so what happens is that the stable 
creations remain. All the stuff around us is a stable result of, of the zero divided by zero. And the unstable results we don't see because they don't exist for long. They're lost to history.